somebody's grass shot up, that would do something to you for the rest of your life. Death is no joke. The average person couldn't handle seeing somebody's brains get splattered and knocked off onto their shirts. You know, and that's the things that I went through in that lifestyle, but I was numb to it. It didn't, it didn't affect me like it would affect a lot of other people because that was my life. But like I said once again, I made that change. I'm still in transition. God is still working with me, but I'm happy to be here because just by you guys allowing me to come here, you guys boost me up to say, you know what, I can fit in with these guys because if you guys didn't know me from walking in here and I walked by you today in the hallway, you would just look at me and I'd just be another regular student. But this is what I walk around with all my life. And I said, I have to make a change. I have to use my life because I believe that's the only reason why I'm still alive here today is that God said, you know what, I'm going to use you. I'm going to give you another chance to go out here because, like I said, I've been through the worst. Being shot, that's some people's nightmare. Been through that five times. Going to jail, some people's worst nightmare. Been through that ten years. <laughs> you know, so I had the bad end of the stick. But I took that and I turned it around and made something of myself. And I'm here today, alive, happy. I can bring a smile to you guys' face. I can give an insight to you guys about the realities that are going around in society. Because like I said, although my parents were away from my life, that, that's not an excuse. I don't use it as a crutch. I chose with a 12-year-old mind. And that's what you have to think about sometime when you see these young kids walking around. That's a baby. That's a kid. He's not supposed to think like how I think at 34 or how you may think at 25. He's been through nothing. Nothing. It's just a game to him. A rap video, a Lil Wayne video. I can wear a red flag on me because that's popular right now. But they don't know here in Lexington, Kentucky, if they were to take that same outfit and go back where I'm from, it could maybe cost them their life because that's how serious the gang banging is out there. And I want to thank you guys. If you guys have any questions to ask me, you can ask me about anything. And I'll answer it because, like I said, I believe in giving you the real, the real raw and uncut without the cut on it. So I thank you.